Here's some more pieces. Roach. Don't see any markings. Cute bracelet. This has got to be one of my favorite pieces that we picked up. It's a cat with a mustache. It's a jelly belly. They call them a jelly belly because they have this stone in here. Um, typically as part of their body. And he's got little wiggly eyes. He's cute. And then we have zebra. Doesn't have a price tag. I don't know. Ring. Ring. I like this piece too. It's an enamel painted brooch with a, I think it's aquamarine in there. Simulated stone. And it is marked Cory. Coro. Coro. It's a good vintage brand. This necklace. Kind of like, looks like a cameo, only it's a flower. And it is vintage as well. This is another enamel painted brooch. I don't see any markings. This is cute. I, th I think these are glass beads. I don't know. Either that or they're really good acrylic beads. They sound like marbles, but definitely handmade on a leather and um, some other kind of Oh, goodness. Another enamel painted one. This is a cool brooch, more modern. Little pieces dangling from it. That looks like an old coin of some sort. Some kind of Japanese square in the middle. Yeah, that's coin. Chinese coin. Chinese coin. Joe said he knows about coins. So I'll trust him on that. It's pretty enamel. So here's a little uh, silver tone enamel fish, blowing bubbles. Um, looks like mother of pearl beads. Uh, I don't see a marking on it. And then this cute little owl. I don't know if you can see him. Let me see if I can pick him up. A little owl. Another road runner. Little birdie. 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 This is cute. It's got a marking on it. what it says but it's got a marking on it this one's older it's got the um, acrylic beads but you can tell by the way it's made on the back that it's older and it also has some kind of marking on the back did this one have a marking yeah but you can't read it so there's a marking on this one and you can't read it it's pretty it's older little pretty enamel peach orange flower. It has a marking on it. Uh, ooh, I can't read it. And it's a long name. I'll have Joe look at it under the loop. Bracelet. This one says made in Germany. Made in Germany? Mm -hmm. So it's older. Cute little Sunflower, a bunch of sunflowers. Sunflowers are my favorite. <coughs> made in Austria. So this one's made. I wonder if that's Austrian crystal in it. Yeah. Austria. He said maybe it's Austrian crystal. Who knows? Could be. They've got a really good um, shine to them. I think I showed the zebra already. I showed that, but it's got a marking on it. And then we have this necklace. Um, it also is a marked piece of jewelry. Um, I'm sure it's modern, but it is marked. And I like this piece because I think what somebody did is they took a whole bunch of 
um, vintage pieces and made a charm, kind of a charm necklace out of it. And it is adjustable. Giovanni. 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 There was no I at the end. No. Giovanni. Don't know. Some of the enamels coming off. This looks like it would be heavy, but it's really lightweight and it's older. Don't see any markings on it, but it's older. It's kind of neat looking. It's just a mark of like a crown over a heart. Or something crown like over a heart. It's a it's a mark, a maker's mark of some sort. Yeah. This is some kind of um feels like plastic. It's vintage, with a pink stone in it. This, I think, is a type of plastic. It's a cute um, flower brooch. It is missing a little piece there, but it's still really cute. This necklace. And I have this beaded necklace that was, you can definitely tell, was handmade. There's some, like, a leather type of suede leather. Um, that is beaded through the beads. I thought it was kind of neat because they're hearts. Um, probably hard to tell on the camera, but they're hearts. <clears throat> and, um, got this cute elephant one. It's got a really secure clasp on it. And it's pretty elephant. And hand painted hibiscus. Brick bracelet. Joe says they're hibiscus. Oh. He is. He moves my whole... Oh, the price tag said they were hibiscus. Oh, the price tag said they were <laughs> hibiscus. Okay. And then um, this is a guess bracelet with a toggle. Um, another schnauzer. Schnauzer. This one is really pretty. And somebody might, you know, might be able to comment below and tell me, but I had been to an estate sale and a gentleman said that if they were made like this with the holes in them, they were better stones and were older. It's really pretty. This is one of Joe's favorites. And then this one is a Sarah Coventry where we were talking about oh, my grandma would have worn this like for 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, other bracelet. This is a cuff bracelet that opens with lips on it. I liked this one because it's really big. I've never seen a rose pen this big. It looks like foil, but it's not oil. It's pretty neat. Little peel, peel, peel box. A little pill box. Sometimes they're marked. I don't see a mark on this one. Little flowers. This is um, a, a Rivoli stone and it is a uh, garnet color. Really nice stone in this brooch. And we have this with the garnet and rhinestones. It's a bow. I like this one. Little like daisy with blue stones. This is really lightweight. It doesn't look like it, but it's really lightweight. A gold flower. It's pretty big. A pair of earrings that I found. This is really pretty too. And we did find quite a few markings on different things. Here's another gold flower. It's pretty big. And it has little stones in there. They're like a grayish color. Somehow I got moved far away. This is um, 
heart with a crown that's made by Coro. Pretty. This is kind of like a magenta color stone. It's like a wiener dog. I thought I had another wiener dog in here somewhere. And then this one has some stars and a bucking horse. Bucking. B-U-C-K-I-N-G. Um, a gun. A coin. This little ballerina. She's really pretty. I don't think there was a mark on that one. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. This one I think is really old. It's lightweight. But it's got some really pretty stones in it. And then we have Peacock. Chris the Goose likes peacocks. There you go. These um, particular ones, whenever you see these out, um, if they have a stone or for a part of their body, they're called jelly bellies. Some jelly bellies are worth quite a bit of money. This is a jelly belly beetle bug. This is a Joe picked this one out. I totally missed it. It's cute. A little jelly belly uh, fly. A jelly belly um, peacock. And then we have this owl. It's enamel painted. It has the two little birds. This kind of reminds me of Sarah Coventry, but we didn't see a mark on this one. Three little kitties. Enamel painted butterfly. I don't really see a mark. Don't stab yourself with this one, honey. I don't want to fit the other. Here's a ring. It is not an adjustable ring. Nice little statement piece. This is a really pretty rose. It's like an orange color. It's enamel painted. Cute, oops. Cute little squirrel holding a pearl nut. Pearl nut. Grapes. And it looks like those are black onyx type of beads. A little crescent moon. I wonder if that's a real pearl. Leather flower. I don't know, it's not marked. Let's see if they feel gritty between your teeth. Mm. <laughs> like it did the other day. <laughs> <sighs> We're, um, this is probably part two of our video, and I want to remind everybody that um, I auction every Monday with the Junking Data Girl and um, they start at about 8 o'clock in the um, morning until 12 o'clock at night Eastern Standard Time every four hours they start a new group of auction uh, people that auction there's a lot of us in our group and we usually do three people per four hour slot Every, that's every Monday, Monday marathon auction is I, is what it's called, the Junking Data Girl. And then on June 7th and 11th, we will be on auctions for you. We have a lot of great stuff to um, auction off. It's really pretty. It's a necklace. Um, I will be on... I believe the same week on June 7th. I'd have to look at my calendar. Um, on Bolo Buddies. Really excited to be with Courtney Hayes. That's a necklace. Um, and I kind of went backwards. And then on May 26th, on Tuesday at 8 p.m., we will be with uh, the Nurse Flipper. This is 
a cat. It is marked. Speaking of the nurse cooker. It is marked Ultra Craft, and we believe that is pewter. What about the nurse flipper? The cat. Oh, the cat. And cat, the nurse flipper. Little um, turtle. I like to say it like that. Turtle. Try it. It's lots of fun. Turtle. Um, it's a pen, but I couldn't pass him up because he's a turtle. And then there's another lobster. Lobster. Yeah, kind of like they say it. That's how they th I think they say it on Friends. Another um, sunflower with rhinestones or some kind of crystal in there. We have this flower. It's kind of heavy. I don't think it had a mark. This one we don't think has a mark, but it's hard to tell whenever they're like very bumpy on the back but it's really pretty it's got the black onyx and then it has um kind of reminds me of marcasite but i don't think it's marcasite a leaf a wooden raccoon a golden cat i don't know what that is uh I, these are two different color of in, intertwined circles um it, you have a clear type of crystal rhinestone um, and a gray, smoky gray. We could not decide what this was. I had to have it because I don't know what it is. I don't know. Some people said maybe a bear holding another bear. I thought maybe a pig. Somebody said a cat. But anyway, he's kind of cute holding his baby. Here's the other fish like I showed you before with the bubbles with a mother of pearl circles I have another one of these rings very pretty statement ring oh my nose is such a seagull stars full moon and crescent moon pretty um, this ring we looked at, it had a mark on it, so Joe looked underneath, looked at, at it underneath with a loop, and it is mark 925. Um, I never knew that they covered silver, like, with a gold, um, but I do have another piece of jewelry that is, a, I believe it's synthetic rubies, um, and it looks gold, but it is sterling silver, so... We kind of got a good deal on that. I'm not sure. I, th I think that's green peridot. Peridot um, is the stone. Over there. Little shopping bag. Cute little um, iridescent stones. It's not rhinestones. Just some kind of stones. Butterfly flower with a pearl in the middle. This one is really pretty. It's um, kind of a citrine and blue sapphire flower brooch. This is a fairy. It is vintage. It is it says Star Fairy um, C. Vincent. No, E. Vincent. And I think it's what it says, 1989. And we believe that's pewter as well. This necklace is made out of the seed um, beads. Multi-layer. This is a pretty bracelet we picked up. Bangle bracelet. Nice weight to it. Um, and I have this necklace. Very pretty. Um, we're gonna. Okay, this is the last bit of it, and then I have a surprise at the end. So this kind of reminds me of a Brighton piece. Um, it is not marked Brighton that I can see, but it is a really pretty heart necklace. I like this one. The little the sunflowers. Did not. Oh, there is a mark on that. Mm -hmm. A R T. Art. Art. This one we were looking at, and I was like, that's either brass or copper. And what did I do with the magnet? I just had it. I had the magnet anyway, 
this is is not magnetized so it's either brass or copper a copper piece and it is vintage this is a really neat piece it's some kind of um, plastic and it is vintage it makes me wonder if it's um, like a lucite plastic or I have a, a flower arrangement made out of this kind of plastic it's really lightweight really neat I'm not sure what this is but he's cute not marked the ruby stones with the rhinestones it is an older piece not marked this one is marked 93.94 I'm not sure it's got my initials on it it's got little rhinestones on it I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it we'll see cute wooden bead necklace with I don't think those are um, glass and the metal bead separators really pretty and I was looking at this and I told Joe I was like this reminds me of when you mix play-doh together and if you look at it closer it might be somebody's class project or something but it is really super cool even if it is um, it's got some kind of uh, I don't know I think that it might have been somebody's class project but it's cool Here is another pretty brooch, flowers. Did not see a marking on it, but it is definitely older. This is a Sarah Coventry piece. This is also another Sarah Coventry piece. Like a branch or something with leaves. And this is marked as well. Um, it's marked, I believe Joe said, did you say ARC? Mm. I think, mm. or ARJ, ARJ, AJR. Uh, AJC. AJC, I didn't get it right. Anyway, and then we have this is a super cute, long, long, long necklace, so you would be able to actually, you know, wear it as a two-piece, and not two, you know. Wrap it around your neck. I don't know how to say it. Make it look layered. And then this one, I do believe, are um, some kind of um, glass and natural stone beads. It is a heavier piece. Very pretty piece. Um, and then we have this piece, which I believe probably was a souvenir. It is vintage. Um, Washington, D.C. piece. Now, for the highlight of everything, when we were shopping, we wanted to buy these sunglasses and the, you know, the kid told us they were on sale. And they told us they were on sale for a dollar. And I really liked the looks of them and I was like, okay, I'll take them. Well, when we were getting checked out, the um, manager of the thrift store said, oh, those aren't a dollar. Those are $20. Those are Versace's. What happened to other Versace's that we had? The bone colored ones. He goes, oh, I thought they they were on sale for a dollar. I sold them for a dollar. She's like, oh my gosh, they got a good deal. Well, we, we chose not to purchase them. And at the end, whenever we were done purchasing all of our jewelry, I kind of <laughs> flippantly made a comment. Um, well, after we spent all that kind of money, you should just throw those Versace's in for free. Well, when we, and she did, she said, oh, yeah, I think we can do that for you. Um, our bill came out to $199, and it was a nonprofit, so, you know, we just rounded up to 200 and she, she had thrown them in for us. So we're going to say that we spent a dollar on these. Um, there is the certificate of authenticity authentication in there and so we really kind of scored with it it's got its own serial number Joe looked them up and um, honey how much did you say this particular pair with the I can never say a Swarovski crystals in the side are going for um, 
there's sold comps for everywhere from. Let me see, they say Versace. A hundred and ninety, all the way up to six hundred and fifty. With their number in it, and um, mm. it came with a sunglass case. So we will be listing these on eBay, and what are you hoping to get out of them? Six fifty. That's brand new, right? No. no. That, was that was used. Are you gonna list them for six fifty? I don't know what I'm gonna list them for yet. No. Probably hoping to get somewhere around the three hundred dollar mark for them. So anyway, we haven't. We just got them today. We still haven't listed the Pink Floyd vintage shirt we have that's selling for about two hundred dollars. Hopefully we'll get that done this week. Um, but we have the Versace authentication paperwork. Um, and like I showed you, it does say Versace on the inside with a serial number. The card has a serial number. It has the Versace wipe case. And they are in mint condition. Like there's no scratches anywhere on them. They look brand new. So... This was the deal of the day for us. Um, and then we went to eat. When we went to eat, we were looking them up. Or Joe was looking them up because, you know, that's that's his job. <laughs> and he gave them back to me, and I thought I'd put them in my purse. And we were talking about them. And as we got to the car, I was looking for them, and I didn't have them. Um, so he went pretty much jogging back to the restaurant. And um, somehow they didn't end up in my purse and fell on the floor and underneath a booth. I would have been devastated had we lost them. So that is our jewelry haul. Um, like I said, there's about 15 to 20 dollar, 15 to 20 pounds of jewelry in total today. And we bought some other things that I'm not showing you because they're personal things that we bought. Jammies. Um, bought some jammies. Um, they may end up, I may not end up keeping them and have to sell them but we spent two hundred dollars today i think we got a good deal and we'll be able to um get a good return on our investment oh i forgot to show you this bracelet because i'm wearing it we got that too it's kind of cute so that's it guys we'll see you later bye bye